In this demonstration, we're going to go through creating a vertical alignment through vertical regression. We've previously gone through and created a horizontal alignment regressed from surveyed COVA points. So we're going to use these same uh, regression points from horizontal. We're going to create our vertical regression points and use the single element and the multi-element regression analysis tools to create our uh, parabolas in our vertical curve. So we need to create uh, first our vertical alignment. So we're going to create our vertical. And this curve definition is going to be parabolic. So in order to create our vertical alignment, it's much easier to use a profile window to display your regression points and run the vertical regression than it is a vertical curvature diagram. Uh, and with horizontal regression, we use the horizontal curvature diagram, uh, but you'll see in just a minute that the profile actually shows the curvature much better from the regression points. We're going to create a profile. Okay, so we're going to use a, we're going to use a little bit of a vertical exaggeration uh, so we can easily see these points to regress and know where our linear elements and our parabolas are. For our source, we're going to use window only, create a profile down our horizontal alignment. Under the controls, we need to set up our elevation controls. So we can select from Kobo points, and this gives us our high and low elevation from our Kobo buffer. Now I'm going to add a little bit to our high and low values to give us a little bit of a window clearance, make it a little easier to work in the profile. So we select apply, and we'll place our profile. And now in our profile, we can add and display um, regression points. Okay, the first thing we need is we need to actually add our regression points to our vertical alignment. So we're going to come into our add vertical regression points. This is a custom toolbar for our vertical regression tools. And I'm going to add the regression points from the horizontal alignment regression points. The reason I'm doing this is I have some points at the beginning and end uh, that are COBO points that I did not include in the alignment. So we don't want to use those. We just want to use the regression points that we have created from our horizontal. Okay, so we apply that. And we should now have regression points. If we come in to display our regression points, uh, we can display a sorted line. We can display uh, text and symbols. Select apply. And you'll see in our profile now, we have a sorted line between our regression points. This is not a vertical, this is just a line representing our regression, our regression points. So we want to come in and we're going to start out by creating single elements to create our linear uh, section of our vertical curve. We want to open up our edit review regression points, uh, very similar to our horizontal regression. Okay, so we want to use uh, select only. We're going to select this first section here before we get to our curve. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use a single element regression to create our linear sections at the beginning, in the middle, and at the very end. Uh, we're going to use the multi-element regression tool because we have a compound vertical curve, and then we have a vertical curve here. So we're going to use the multi-element regression tools. Once I have these points selected, I'm going to left click to accept that. Open up our single element regression. We're adding in a line and we're going to add these. The save order is last element. So when I compute, you'll see that it puts out a, a regressed single element. I'm going to save. I'm going to move to the next linear element. So I'm going to select only. So I'm going to select this section here in the middle. I'm going to compute. Sorry, we need to accept first. Now I can compute and save. And we're going to do this to the last section here at the bottom as well. So I'm going to select, accept, compute, and save. We can go ahead and close out of the single element tools because now we're going to move over to the multi-element. 
and we're not going to need to select regression points because we're going to use regression between the elements. So we can close this box as well. We're going to open up our vertical, uh, multi vertical element regression analysis command. We need to select our elements for our beginning and our ending, uh, where it knows what range of points we're going, or what range of elements we're going to be regressing. So I'm going to select our first linear element. I'm going to select our second linear element. Now we need to create our compound curve. So we're going to have two parabolas in this compound curve. So for our connecting elements, I want to right click, select add after. I'm going to change the type to parabola. And based on just some generic um, known values like our tangent coming in, uh, our, I'm sorry, like our grade coming in, our, our exiting grade for this, and our length, we do have some, some generic values that we're going to input in to create uh, a generic placement for these points. And then we'll run the, the regression to apply and, and free up our elements. So for the fir first parabola, we know that our length is about 200 feet. These each section here is 50. So halfway through this first part, you know, we have 50, 100, 150, 200 will be the first part of this compound curve. So we're going to put in the length of 200. And our k value is a negative 200. Okay, and we select apply, and you'll see that it adds in a curve. Now we're going to free the lengths of these elements. So it will free the placement of this curve once it's once it's created to connect these points. So it may not look correct right now, but we just want it to follow the curvature of of the uh, regression points for now. And we still have our add after command is open, so we're still adding an element after this one that's created. So we're going to add in our second part of our compound curve. The length to this one is 175, and our k value. Is going to be a negative 450. Apply. Close. So now we want to connect these points so they uh, the geometry of this vertical uh, becomes correct. So we're going to, we need to free the lengths of some of our values. So we're going to free the lengths of uh, our first element. Actually, let's do our ending element so we can expand this line up a little bit further. And we're going to free the lengths of these two parabolas. Select apply. Okay. And you can see that it connected these points. Where we were, you know, it, it looks like we have a very big deviation. But remember, we do, we have a 100 is what we said is our exaggeration. So the deviation here is really not too bad. We can come in here and, and make a few more changes if we need to. Uh, we can we can adjust the length of this first element, so we can we can actually specify the value. So let's just make that that's 170 and apply. And you'll see that it, now that it's stretched that that element up, and we're above our our target here. So if we'll just lower that back a little bit more. And each time we apply, it, it brings us in a little bit closer and closer together. That looks much closer. We'll apply that. Okay, once we have that applied, now we're hit save. We need to move over to our next element. Okay. Zoom down to this next curve. I want to select the beginning and ending elements. So we already have this element selected as our ending element. So we have to, we need to select this ending element first in order to get to a different uh, curve. We're going to change our beginning element now to be the middle section. Okay. Now this is just a single curve, a single parabola. So we're going to right click, add after. We're going to add in our parabola. Our length. We're going to put in a value of 325. And our K value this time is going to be a positive 500. Apply. Okay. Now we need to free our parameters to extend our lengths uh, as needed. So in this case, we actually can go ahead and free all of our lengths. So we can free our beginning element, our ending element. 
and our parabola, select a plot. And you can see that it's connected our points together. Okay, so let's go ahead and save and close. Now let's go ahead and run a review on this alignment. Okay, and as you can see, we have our linear parabola, parabola, that's our compound linear parabola. So it's gone through and it's created all of our elements. And now that we have our vertical alignments created, we can come out and we could, we could run annotation on this profile. Let's use an annotate profile command uh, and view some of our values. Uh, but we'll, let's go ahead and we're going to create a slew diagram for our vertical. Okay, so our, for exaggeration, I'm going to change this and lower that a little bit. We're going to run this on our horizontal regression. Our vertical alignment is our vertical. And I'm going to display a line. But this is our slew line, and then our elements. And this elements here, this yellow, is actually going to be the curvature. When I select apply, and I place that slew diagram, close, and you can see this represents our linear. We come up to our, trend, our compound parabola, and then linear down to our, our next parabola, our next curve, back up to a linear. So this is our curvature, is our yellow. And then our slew is here in this green line that represents the slew of that vertical. Okay, so that includes the demonstration on creating a vertical alignment from uh, the vertical regression tools.